Folks, today has been quite a challenge already. For you guys, it's the beginning of the video. For Leo Shang, I've been fishing out here for about two and a half hours already. And although the air temperature is extremely pleasant today, the water temperature is still brutal anyways i hit a little creek earlier today ended up landing three different species of fish so i'm definitely not getting skunked today i landed a bunch of bluegill the lepomis macrocutus uh red breast sunfish the lepomis auditus and i also ended up landing my first green sunfish the lepomis cyanellus of 2020 which was the 20th species of this year and i tell you what i'm a little bit discouraged but I still got time to fish today. So I decided to come here to the Delaware Canal, one of my trusted spots for chain pickerel, the Ezox Niger. Before I get to talk about the juiciness of the video today, hopefully I'm going to catch some fish, right? I, I, I do have to talk a little bit about the giveaways for the month of January. So let's just spend a few seconds to talk about that. Winner of the January Benefactors giveaway is on the screen. Congratulations, you won a Shimano nasi model of your choice just email me and we're gonna get things work out right and uh, there's also a secret giveaway that i told you guys that i was going to start doing for the year of 2020 if you actually spotted all the easter eggs for the month of january on my youtube videos and you have all the letters collected you may use this opportunity to comment in the video below and give me the secret word for the month of january one winner only okay the first person to type it in the secret word below is also going to get a shimano nasi model of the winner's preference okay but you folks only got seven days to figure everything out and post it below okay seven days after the publication of this video the giveaway is gone all right no chances to get the prize anymore that being said for february the benefactors giveaway the prize is going to be a Daiwa rod, so that's the good, the good thing about it. Now that I got all of this out of the way, let me muster some of my inner strength and uh, tackle the Delaware Canal to see if I can catch some decent fish and make this video a hot video. Let's do it. Well, I'm going to get started over here. The water level of the canal, as always during the winter time, is pretty darn low. You can see bottom right over here. This is one of my trusted trout spots during the spring stocking season. I have caught many, many beautiful trout from this hole over here. Both the brown trout, the salmo truta, and the rainbow trout, the oncorin cosmicus. But there's no trout left here at this time of the year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the plan, the game plan is to just use a little ice fishing jig with a little wax worm float and see if maybe there's a picker around or if there's any fish around here at all it's on boy bluegill yeah all right man found the school of bluegill this is a pretty decent decent one too biggest one of the day so far look at that huh chunky my man i'm gonna wet my hands over here since i have access to the water yeah look at that oh, beautiful chunky winter color bluegill fights pretty good for winter too this one right here is actually the first solid fish of the day folks so i mean you know as much as it pains me to do so i haven't really found anything like too big too extraordinary but this right here already this is, a, this is a good accomplishment for today compared to all the other stuff that I landed earlier. The good thing about winter fishing, once you find the school of fish, chances are there are other fish around. And if there are other fish around, they, meet, they may not be all necessarily bluegill. Oh, that's a hit. I'm gonna take it, my man. You can do it. Man, he's working hard. 
The wax worm may be too big for this fish. No, no, he's still on it. He's still on it. It's on, boy! <laughs> it's all bluegill, though. <laughs> Man, bro. Well, this is an upgrade compared to the sizes that I was catching earlier today, right? <sighs> As I mentioned in the intro. So, I mean, you know, what can I say, right? One cannot be too greedy. Pickerel didn't quite show up yet, but... At least this is better than catching nothing during the winter time. You know what I'm saying? Right, little bluegill? Yeah. Although, I do believe that it is time to change the spots. Kind of get started over here, but I still got the whole canal. So you never know, right? Maybe I move to another place. We're going to find some bigger fish or more interesting species. Eh, was that me or was that that's fish? Fish old. Oh, it's another bluegill, isn't it? Man, I saw the bite and I was like, man, that, that was not me. Decent size, I mean, okay size bluegill, but not exactly what we we're looking for, yeah? Let me try to handle this guy as little as possible because I do not have my hands wet over here. Boy, I'm gonna keep walking this canal until something different shows up, man. Sometimes that's how you're gonna grind on shiny Pokemon, you know what I'm saying, man? Keep catching the same until the shiny shows up. Oh, 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 dude, did you, did you, what, did you see that? It's on, boy. It's on, oh, is this really bluegill? My man, that's decent bluegill if it is bluegill. Dude, that's, that's, oh my, bro. Yeah, okay. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> Stacking up, but this this just decent bluegill, man. Look, look, look at this. That's very decent. Are you kidding me? All right, very decent. Thanks for the fight. Oh, 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 oh. that's fish on, boy. Ooh, dude. Jackpot. 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 Dude, what, what did I hit? What did I hit? I think I hit a carp. I really think I hit a carp on the ice fishing jig and the mealworm. Either a carp or a big pickerel, man. You see, that's what I'm talking about, bro. It's like stacking for shiny Pokemon, bro. You just gotta keep catching them bluegill until something different shows up. See that? That's what's up, man. I just want to see what it is. What it is. Four pound test, four pound test. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. Easy, boy. Easy. Can't force it too much, you know, especially if it is a pickerel and it's hooked on the side of the mouth. Got to be careful with the teeth. Although I think it is a, car a carp. I think it is a small carp. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, son, don't get in my face. Dude, I still don't see it. Got to also be careful so the fish doesn't swim. Doesn't swim on structure. Oh, yeah, it's a carp. It's a carp. I think I saw. I think I saw it. I don't really have a net with me, so I'll have to go in the water to get this, this beast. But we finally struck gold after stacking like 15 bluegill. Boy, that is what's up. Yeah, it's a carp. On the little jig with wax worm. Not even chumming corn. I feel so European now. <laughs> <laughs> this is some Carl and Alex stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's not really the pickerel that I was looking for, but I would take it. <laughs> Look at that, huh? what a beauty, man. No landing mat, no net. I'm just gonna land it, take a shot, and release the guy. Wax worm, ice fishing jig. There we have it, boy. There we go. Hell yeah! Smooth! It's smooth landing, son! That is EPF style. Look at that, huh? What a beauty of a carp. Very nice. Dude, this carp was not going anywhere. Holy cow. This is my first carp of 2020. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. The other side is a little bit dirty. I do have to apologize for that, you know, but this fella is going to be okay. Look at that, huh? Very nice. All right, let me release it over here. 
real quick. This fish hasn't been outside of the water for too long. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, hell yeah, that's what's up. Beautiful, man, beautiful. Finally, the stacking boogie paid off. Oh, hell yeah. That was, mm, uh, hell yeah, dude. That was the fight. I, I, I'm happy now. You know, I was so discouraged when I started my fishing session at the Delaware Canal. I told you guys I was fishing for two and a half hours. Caught three little tiny fish. And then this right here, this made my day. And I just wanted to confirm here, you know, but I stacked up three, six, nine, twelve. It took me 12 bluegill. Okay, I caught 12 bluegill at this canal until I landed that common carp, you know. Let me tell you all something, man. You know how Superman's greatest weak weakness is the green stone kryptonite? If you ask any life lister what is a life lister's weakness, the life lister's probably gonna tell you it is monotony because we hate catching the same stuff, the same species over and over and over and over and over again. But this is what we have to do sometimes, catch them over and over and over and over again so that we can get to the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is a good example of that. As far as you don't give up, something different is bound to show up. All right, let's continue fishing. I still have about one and a half hour until sunset. And hopefully I'm going to catch that pickerel, right? Or a crappie or something. Just crazy, I just got another hit. I just got another hit. I'm using the word is stacking up in this video so that the commoners can kind of understand what I'm doing, you know? When I say I stack up five bluegill, this is the fifth one after the carp, that means I caught five in a row. But for the poke players out there, you know that when you get the poke raider, that is called chaining, right? So I'm pretty much chaining bluegill, just that instead of the shiny ones, I'm catching different species, you know? And it hasn't been easy, okay? That carp came after chaining 12 bluegill so i'm just wondering when the next species is going to show up you know oh my goodness dude oh yeah dude oh yeah bro i saw that take chaining this is a different species no way this is a bluegill no way this is a bluegill what is that dude big ass crappy dude bro that is what's up, my man. Bro, look at this. Chaining bluegill. Nice crappie. Pomoxis nigro maculatus. On the little. <laughs> Dude, I saw my flow go crazy. All right, not bad, not bad. If only every day was like this, you catch a few bluegill, and then something as nice as this shows up, you know? It makes it extra nice because this fish, like this size, is a rarity in this canal. So it makes it extra nice. You know what I'm saying? There it goes. Look at that. What a beauty. Whew, not bad. Back to chaining bluegill. Oh, brothers and sisters. This time, it only took six bluegill chain six bluegill you know man for that black crappie to show up i was actually checking dms like instagram dms on my phone when suddenly i saw my float go crazy and i was like bro instantly in my head i was like that ain't no bluegill and it turned out to be a black crappie anyways i just want to quickly show you guys although i did already in this video what i'm using for today right one tiny little ice fishing jig and juicy as wax worms okay mm, juiciest of the juiciest man and uh, pretty much you just kill them right <laughs> put them on the put them on the jig there you have it man if you squeeze then a little bit of juice comes out oh man it's like the fish see that kind of stuff you know smell that kind of stuff they come over right away so we got green sunfish red breast blue gill uh common carp and black crappie we are five species today we, I, I, we've come a long way i wonder if that pickerel is going to show up to make it number six i got my hopes up now boy 
<laughs> okay, it is 4.30 p.m. We don't want to get too greedy when it comes to chaining these bluegills, you know what I'm saying? Modern nature provides you with some surprise species, right? That common carp was a great surprise, you know, and then the black crappie. I found a school of black crappie here together with the bluegill that it was equally awesome but we don't want to push our luck so i'm pretty much calling it a day today was the day of the bluegill man i never realized how many bluegill are in this canal over the years i came here and i focused mainly on the chain pickerel the azox niger and i gotta tell you those azox are not going to run out of food for a good while <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? Stay tuned for the February videos and look for those ladders, folks, because February giveaway is supposed to be a secret, but I guess it is out now, you know? I'll see you guys next time, hopefully, in today's Thai Lines. And take it easy.